The Ghana Union of Traders Association has given government a two-week ultimatum to fully enforce the GIPC Act 865, 2013, Section 27 and 28, which prohibits foreigners from engaging in retail business in the country. This is the second ultimatum issued to government after the Abosokai spare parts dealers also issued theirs last week. Some Ghanaians at Swami Magazine in Kumasi closed down the shops of some foreigners engaging in retail trade. They added that inactions of government have allowed foreigners to gain firm roots in the retail business. Samuel Asari Ado is Public Relations Officer of the Ghana Electrical Dealers Association. We want the government to implement the GIPC law, 865 Session 27. That law is supposed to be implemented. It is a law backed by parliament and it's supposed to be implemented. And also, we support what Swami Magazine did last week. It is not because we want things to be done in a radical way, but it has got to a point that we feel our rights are being trampled upon. And being a, a trader myself, I know what they are going through, so therefore we support them and represent. What does the law say, if you are going to give me a brief about it? We all the, know law the law gives categorically certain occupations and certain trades that are supposed to be only done for only Ghanaians. It was like building a fence around your wall and saying to yourself, this space is for my kids. Any other space can be occupied by other friends. But it looks as if the space that we have been given is now being, we've been bulldozed out of the place and foreigners have taken over. And what makes us so sad is that these same foreigners bring shoddy goods on the market. They don't pay taxes. Some of them don't even bank the money they have here. They, they, they convert the money into foreign currencies and send to their country. They don't pay taxes. We pay taxes. So we expect our government to protect us. That is all that we are saying. It is killing the local retail marketing that has been there from time immemorial. Most of these ministers we see today, their mothers and fathers own shops one way or the other. And that is where they go to where we are today. Our mothers and fathers started this so many years and we have taken over the businesses. We will not let our businesses collapse. This is our future. The government, we, we voted the government into power. So the government should protect its own citizens. You know, I'm sure you are aware of the ECOWAS free trade movement. Yes, we are aware of the ECOWAS free trade visiting. Ghana is not a colony of ECOWAS. Ghana is a sovereign state. We have our laws here. We are not saying that this law is supposed to be implemented in ECOWAS countries. This, our law that the parliament has passed is supposed to be implemented in Ghana. We are not saying foreigners shouldn't come to Ghana. But what we are saying is that we are protecting the local retail business, which is for Ghanaians. So what do you say? Are you giving an ultimatum to the ultimatum government? Ultimatum has been given. I think, I think this is the fourth day, counting from Swami's, uh, Swami's demonstration. So we're giving the government, so we have about nine days more to go. And we want to see what the government will do. We believe in MPP government. We believe in Anado. We believe that MPP slogan is what? Development in freedom. So please, we are waiting for him to do something about it. Let the GPIC law be implemented. The 865, section 27 and 28, let it be implemented so that, to be enforced so that Ghanaian traders will say that we have a government that cares. You saw what happened in Swami. You saw what happened in Swami. When you go to war, you don't tell everybody your strategies. You don't tell everybody what we do. But we believe that this government listens. We believe that he listens. If nothing happens, what you guys saw was a swami. would be a comedy. What will be done is shops will be closed. We will take to the streets on until this law is implemented. All Ghanaian traders, we are all for it. This is a clarion call. But we know we have a government that listens. And we know Nanya Kufuado will listen. That is what I will say. Well, President of the Circle Toll Lane Associ uh, Traders Association, Osea Jaman, blames immigration for the influx of undocumented foreigners, adding their association will help enforce the GIPC law. They are, they are not doing their jobs because they will have to see to whatever is going on. But it looks like somebody, some big hand is holding them, and so they can't do whatever they have to do. They, they, are, they are part of it. They are part of the problem. Migration, all of them, they are all part of it. GIPC is the biggest uh, 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 blame that we can give to them. What is happening at Circle, we are very much worried. Even me, myself, the chairman, 
the, the Nigerians don't know me. Now, when you talk about Nigerians, they want you to say foreigners. Fine, foreigners. But when you come to circle, it's no more foreigners. It's Nigerians who are there. They hold my shirt to come and buy. That shows that they don't know me. And they are a nuisance to us. So whatever is happening in the whole country is not different from what is happening at CERCA. So we support whatever is happening here, whatever happened in Kumasi, and we will replicate that at CERCA. And so we are going to do our best to get them out of our markets. We don't see why they should still be in our market. We're in dialogue with the government, but it looks like it's not going anywhere. So we are going to see how best we can take the law into our own hands. And those are traders there uh, ending this edition of the Pulse, of course, the hardest side, if you like.